the idea of doing Wicked as uh, a piece of musical theater, uh, that, that came from me. And, you know, I, I pursued getting the rights and, um, and, and being given the opportunity to do it. You know, the way musicals are shaped before, it's, it's not as if someone writes a script and hands you the script and then you say like, oh, okay, I'll write a song here and I'll write a song there. The getting the structure of the story right before anybody writes anything is um, at least the, the process that uh, follow. And that's a very collaborative process. And it usually involves me and the book writer and sometimes the director and some writers who want to write for musical theater. I think they don't really, they think like, oh, well, I'll just write a script and then we'll say song here and the songwriters will stick the song there. It, it doesn't work that way. There's a, there's a whole structure that gets figured out and then you identify, well, I think this part of the story probably is gonna to be told musically. This feels more like it should be dialogue. This feels like maybe we could tell it through dance. You kind of figure out the whole way the story is gonna to be told. I actually knew that Kristen happened to be in Los Angeles where we were doing the, um, the reading and I asked her to come and read uh, Glenda, do, do Glenda for us in the, in the reading. Um, and then after we all, that is Winnie Holtzman and myself and Mark, Pat, our producer, saw Kristen in the role, we thought, well, we're never going to do better than this. So we want her to do the, the show. And um, frankly, it took a little persuasion, but, uh, you know, but Kristen was with us the whole time and had enormous impact on how the role was written really um, for one thing yeah for one thing i would not have written um the soprano parts that glinda sings if Kristen hadn't done the role yes. and said yeah. you know i have the soprano is there any way it can be incorporated into the character um and then adina you know i, I still remember her coming to the audition wearing all black and green eyeshadow um so she's She's not a fool nice. and, you know, came in and, and blew us all away. When I first wrote uh, Defying Gravity and I was teaching it to her um, and we got the last part, the melody what basically at that point did the same thing that it does in the first two verses, which is it moves around. And Adina said, well, by this point, I'm going to be flying in the air. So I think that I should just stay up there melodically. You know, instead of doing, so if you care to find me, I should be doing, so if you care to find me. And I, you know, and just stay up there. And I said to Adina, well, you have to do that eight times a week, you know? And she was like, oh, I can do it. So that's why that got written that way. I the do. point being exactly what you've said, Mark, but even more so, um, original, the original cast has a great deal of influence on, at least in my experience, on, on the, how the show ultimately turns out and how those roles ultimately turn out. Defying Gravity from Wicked, I had that, the, the sort of riff, the, I'm not at a piano, but the thing that goes like, dum, 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 dum. I had that as sort of the sound of the witch coming into her full power. And then the song, and then I had the title, Defying Gravity, and the song evolved out of that. So it's always like this little germ and always involving a title, and then it sort of sprouts from there. I want to know the history of one other song of yours. Because I knew you. Okay, yeah. That's another one I could have talked about. I have two good stories about For Good, um, which is the last song from Wicked and... Um, the heart of the show. I mean, it took me, I, I, I did write that song for a long time when we were working on the show because I knew how important it was that, that it was gonna be the sort of beating heart of the show, the ultimate expression of the relationship between the two women. And um, so we had to get it right. And then when I finally felt ready to write it, um, I called Winnie, my collaborator, the book writer, and we were just talking about the, you know, 
what they were going to say to each other and what was the story of the song. And at a certain point, he said, well, they've, you know, they've been so important in one another's lives. I mean, they've, they've really changed each other for good. And then I was like, stop, stop right there. That's the title of the song. So I'm hanging up now because it's such a brilliant title. We only take credit for having heard it when Winnie said it because it means two things, of course. Um, but then my daughter, Jessica, was, happened to be up visiting at the, right at this time. And so I went to her and asked her about a long-term friendship she's had with a friend of hers that she's known since she was seven. And, you know, they've been friends all their lives. And the friendship is, there have been points where they're angry at each other and not speaking. And then, you know, best friends and helping each other and so, and so on. And I said, her friend's name is Sarah. And I said, Jess, I want you to imagine that you are never going to see Sarah again. And you have one opportunity to tell her what she means to you and what your friendship has meant. What would you say? And I had like a yellow pad like this one. And I had my little pencil. And she started to talk about her friend Sarah. And I wrote things down. And she said, you know, I think people come into our lives for a reason. You know, she said a lot of things that just went right into the song. And I think one of the reasons that maybe people um, identify with the song is because so much, much of it came out of the truth of a real relationship that my daughter was describing. Wow, that is a well. And um, in some way, it says so much about you as well. It's very Jewish. I don't know if you're aware of that. Of course. Because I yeah, knew you, I've been changed <laughs> for good. No, no, it's just, just, just fabulous.